So I'll just quickly talk about um, understanding media queries. So I did not prepare a talk for today, but um, this is um, uh, available on the ng-conf um, medium publication. So you can go find this at any time, book, uh, bookmark this if you want to um, refer back to this. Media queries can be a real pain because, um, right, there's a, we, if you don't understand what they're doing and how those rules work together, um, and right, if you get them out of order, you can end up with not getting the results that you want. So the point of media queries is really uh, for us, most of us are probably doing mobile first development, which means that we want the root styling in our um, CSS or SAS files, we want that to be the styling for the mobile presentation of something. We don't want to style for desktop and then have to like do a bunch of changes to get it down to mobile. The reality is, is that mobile often scales very well to desktop and we just need minor tweaks to make it look better in desktop. Maybe we can unstack some things uh, and better leverage some horizontal real estate. So we want to use media queries to do this. And I'll just make this bigger so that everybody can see better. Um, so a media query starts with the at media. Uh, this is the media query, CSS uh, query directive. Uh, and we usually are targeting screen. There's also things like uh, print uh, for print layouts and things like that. But most of us are targeting screen most of the, most of the time, probably 99% of the time. Oops, sorry. Um, so we're writing media screen and then we're gonna combine that query. So we're targeting a screen layout and we're gonna target that query with uh, some qualifier that says what area we want to qualify. So for mobile first, we're not qualifying it with anything. There is no media query at all for our mobile first stuff. So the first stuff that shows up in our uh, SAS or CSS file isn't going to have any media query wrapped around it. Uh, so then when we go, well, you know, when I get to a slightly larger presentation, I need to, um, uh, I, I need to maybe uh, change a flex uh, direction, right, from column to row, so that it's going to use more horizontal real estate. So uh, what I need to do is tell it at what breakpoints I need to do that. So uh, as we're doing that, um, we're probably going to be using, if you're using SAS, you're going to be using min width and max width. If you are using CSS, you're probably going to use min device width and max device width. So it'll be slightly different depending on whether you're using this uh, SAS compiler or not. Uh, but the, the rules and the principles still apply. And I've put together a nice cheat sheet on this page that kind of describes, okay, here are some breakpoints. You may use entirely different breakpoints, right? They, they may be breakpoints that you choose for your organization, for the devices that are most common for your users or whatever. Um, so, right, you might have different values for what is a small device's minimum width and a small device's max width. So by using these values, we're basically defining um, the size of a device. So I'm saying if I'm, tar and the difference between min and max is the way I write my query. Which one of these variables should I use? If I'm, gonna, if I'm going to write my media query to use min width, um, then I'm gonna use a min width variable because I want to say, I, I want to find something that has a minimum width of my minimum width SAS variable. Um, or I'm gonna target it using max width and I'm gonna use a max width variable and say, I want to target something that has a maximum width of my small max device. I can use them combined with and, um, so I can use Boolean operators to combine these together. So in this particular case, uh, if you just leave one off, if you are only using, for example, min width, then um, you're gonna get everything that's above this size. So everything, so if I go small SM min width, uh, min width equals SM min width, then I'm going to target everything that is at least that minimum width and higher. Um, if I combine it with and, then I can actually scale it down. I can say only devices that are, say, you know, between the maximum size of a small device and the, the maximum, the minimum size of a small device and the maximum size of a tablet. So I could get really specific and, and hone these down. So you can kind of use the chart to say, well, if I combine these two rules, I can target just this one type of device. Maybe it's a phone in landscape origin, in landscape orientation. So I can combine them together using those. And this cheat sheet kind of helps you figure out how you can leverage those variables and build a, um, a media query that will target exactly the devices that you want. 
It's important to remember about media queries that they are applied in the order in which they are defined in your file. So it works from top to bottom. So you start with, uh, you start with mobile and then you may only need to change your presentation for desktop. So you put in a media query for desktop. And then six months later, you come back to that file and you may need to put in a rule for a tablet. We want to do sli something slightly different for tablet. If you put that at the bottom um, that it, and you don't target it really specifically, you could actually end up overwriting your desktop rule because it came later in the file. So you need to make sure that you put them in the order that you want them to get applied. It's not necessarily from mobile to tablet to desktop. Uh, it might actually be in different orders for different reasons. It's about your business rules and what you want to present and how you want those to um, uh, override one another. So think about what's in your media query as overriding the previous sets of styling that has been applied so far. So this is just a primer, uh, right? It, it's just kind of an introduction to um, how to write some simple media queries to target different resolutions. Uh, there's obviously a lot more info in here. And I've got a pretty nice demo in here that is raw HTML. You can just copy the HTML out of here and, and, and fire it up in Visual Studio, uh, Visual Studio Code. Um, go search, well, actually, you can just paste it into a text document and, into an, and change the extension to HTML and pull it up in your browser. And you can actually change the resolutions on your browser and see how things change. And there's lots of comments in here to kind of help you um, sort through what's going on and why those things happen. So it's kind of a mini tutorial on how to leverage uh, media queries and kind of get a good start at doing good mobile first development using media queries. So there's media queries. Mm -hmm.